The Montreal Canadiens have won 24 Stanley Cups since their founding in 1909. They've gone on to become one of the most successful franchises not just in hockey, but in professional sports. Today we look back at one of their earliest Stanley Cup wins because on this day, April 3rd, 1930, the Canadians defeated the Boston Bruins to win their third Stanley Cup and in doing so would shock the hockey world. Before we get started, I just want to say welcome to All Sports History. This is a channel where you'll find many sports documentaries on sports leagues like the NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, and much more. So please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those. Okay, let's get back to today's video. By the 1929-1930 NHL season, the league had grown to 10 teams with two divisions, the American Division and the Canadian Division, with teams being divided up by their respective home countries with the exception of the New York Americans, who for reasons of divisional balance played in the Canadian division. The season consisted of 44 games, with 6 of the 10 teams qualifying for the playoffs. The Boston Bruins were the defending champions heading into the finals, with 38 wins, 5 losses, and 1 tie. They accumulated a winning percentage of .875, which set the record for the best winning percentage in NHL history in a single season, a record that still stands today. During the regular season, the Canadians had lost all four matchups against the Bruins, so going into the finals, Boston was easily favored to win the championship. However, as we know, things turned out much differently. Before the start of the season, the NHL instituted new rules to try and stimulate more scoring. They would for the first time allow forward passing in all three zones, hoping that more offense and more goals would be scored. Well, what they hoped for paid off big time, because every NHL team managed to score over 100 goals that season. Even the lowly Pittsburgh Pirates, no, not those Pirates, yes, those Pirates, they managed to just get over that mark with 102 goals. The Canadians themselves actually doubled their scoring from the previous season, going from 72 total goals to 142. However, the Bruins scored the most goals that season with 179, while also allowing the fewest goals scored against them. As the playoffs started, the Canadians faced off against the Chicago Blackhawks in the quarterfinals. They defeated them after two games with a better goal total of 3-2. During the semifinals, Montreal played the New York Rangers and swept them in two games in a best of three series. As the Stanley Cup Finals got started between the Canadians and the Bruins, Montreal took advantage of unusually poor play by Boston during Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Finals. George Hainsworth, the Canadians goalie, held a shutout against the Bruins while the team's captain, Silvio Mantha, scored goals in both games of the finals. Game 2, which was played at the Montreal Forum, was decided by Howie Morris' goal during the second period, which put the Canadians up 4-3 over the Bruins. The Canadians would sweep the Bruins in a best-of-three series, resulting in a huge upset and criticism over a short playoff format. Boston had not lost back-to-back -back games that entire season until the finals. But after being swept by the Canadians, the NHL moved to change the finals format to a best of five games instead of three. The Canadians had five wins, zero losses, and one tie during their playoff run that year, making them one of the few teams to go undefeated throughout their playoff run in NHL history. There were also some interesting oddities about the Stanley Cup engraving. One of the Canadians' board of directors, Georges Richet, seen here on a Crazy Train themed Christmas card from 1924. What would they earn, man? He was mistakenly named as a team physician. Another mistake on the Cub was the co-owner of the team, Louis A. Letourneau, had his name spelled wrong. It was instead engraved H. A. Letourneau. And that about does it for this day in sports history. What did you think about the Canadians sweeping the Bruins in only two games? Do you prefer a shorter playoff series, like a best of three? Or do you prefer a longer series, like a best of seven that we have today? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and feel free to share with anyone who might also enjoy it. Also, let me know in the comments what team or topic you'd like to see in a video next. Please check out the social media pages for all sports history. The links are in the description below. And thanks for watching.